How's everything tonight? Tastes good, does it? Wow, those are really attractive shoes you got there. <laughs> what? The strain finally got to you? Snickers. What about Snickers? He kind of sort of got out of his cage. Here? In my restaurant? Yes! Well, I, 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 he performed this feat how? I don't see how his little paws can unlock anything. Well, I thought maybe he would be less depressed if he had a little freedom. My rabbits don't have mental health. They're rabbits. He's different. Oh, Katie, he shouldn't even be here in this cage. This is a health code violation. This is this not is a problem. problem. Vienna, Brad and I are looking for him. No one even knows what's going on. <sighs> oh, God, I think the rabbit is out of the bag. Really, I promise we don't have any rodents. Then what are they looking for? Her contact lens. Her, her contact? So a big furry contact lens just ran across my wife's foot? 11 o'clock. Snickers. Snickers! Um, okay, everyone. Uh, that's my little Snickers. And if everyone is just quiet and calm, I can get him back in his cage. So no talking, no sudden movements, right? Just wonderful. I say no loud noises, no sudden movements. What do you do? You go bounding across the counter and scare him. You would be mad if I caught him. Wait, quiet. There he is. Okay. All right, Vienna. All right, you open the door. Katie, you stay with me. Watch my back. Is this what you were looking for? Thank you. Snickers, you have been a very bad boy. I cannot give this rabbit back to you. Why not? He's my rabbit. My brother's a cop. Lady, you give the bunny back when I call him. Do you have any idea what I do for a living? I'm gonna go with my gut and say runway model. I am the deputy inspector for the Oakdale Health Department. Oh, no. No, please. please. Just give him back to me. You're scaring him. Are you familiar with Article 327 of the Oakdale Health Code, specifically Codicil 11B? No, but how a few bars will fake it. According to Article 327, Codicil 11B, it is my official duty to impound the animal, have him tested for communicable diseases, and keep him in quarantine until I am satisfied with the results. He's had all his shots. He's very clean. He's only been out of the cage for a couple minutes. I'm sorry, my hands are tied. Oh, if only that were true. How long is the quarantine? We're backed up as always. Should be no more than six or seven months. Please, just let me have him. Sorry, lady. A deal is a deal. Huh? She cashed the check. She delivers the goods. You know, I would say that that is putting the Hassan and the Hassan Pfeffer. Just what do you think you're doing? Well, per my request, the manager of this establishment paid for the finest ingredients. I am not going to let her back out. I'm not going to let you quarantine my dinner. Oh, and it'll be a meal fit for the gods. <sighs> See here, I cannot allow this. What are you looking at? Your eyes. I mean, at first I thought they were gray, but wow. They are green, aren't they? I don't know. I've never really thought about it. What, what, would it would it be too much for me to ask for you to take your glasses off? <laughs> Sorry. I'm... You really could get lost in those eyes. I'm sure many men have. <laughs> La voila! House and buffer. Au revoir, Snickers. All right, buddy. I think we are in the clear. But that was a close call, no thanks to you. Thank God for Brad. In a million years, I did not think I would be saying that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're welcome, 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 welcome. <laughs> okay, where is Snickers? <laughs> where, please tell me I did not have a romantic dinner with a Department of Health official for no reason. He's... He's in the bathroom having a timeout. He was very bad tonight. 
How do you give a rabbit a time out? No TV, no organic carrots. Oh, you'll have them back in line in no time. I guess I was pretty harsh. Maybe I was too harsh. He was in a different place. I'm going to go get him so he can thank you in person. No, no, no. I don't want to interfere with your discipline. In fact, I think you need a time out. It was a pretty awful night. That woman, the way she was holding him. You know what? She was really sweet when you get to know her. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, ah, wow. Tonight was a surprise. It really was. I, mm. I had a big idea, and it turned into a total disaster. You know, that just never happens to me. It did not turn into a disaster. Pretty close. I mean, Snickers almost did time. But you fixed it. You fixed everything. <laughs> Chasing Snickers around, watching you be you and Vienna back you up. It was ridiculous and life was funny and just <laughs> hysterical. <laughs> but it wasn't sad. You know, I know I said that um, having fun was off the table. No, no, don't, don't analyze it. You were, you were doing good. Just go with it. Your life has been, it's been very grim lately. It's just confusing, you know, because I, I miss Jack, but I want him to be with his kids. I want him to be with Carly. Don't go overboard. I'm not. You know, Margo and I talk about everything. She tells me all these stories about my dad. We talk about everything except for the end. She never talks about that. It's like it was too hard to even talk about. And when I was stupid and I didn't understand the whole thing, I was mad at her. But now I look back at it and I'm like, thank God he had her. So, no, I don't want Carly to be alone. I don't. Now you're alone. Do you know how scary it is for you to have perception? Yeah, tell me about it. There's some. Brad, you I should... think... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, go on. No, what, did, what were you going to say? Nothing, nothing. I, I... Did you hear what I said? No. <laughs> no, what? Would you mind staying? Are you kidding me? You don't know by now. You give me a beer and you can't get rid of me. Okay. Okay. Room service? Will you send up a whole bunch of beer? Okay, so the way he offs these guys is really cool. Especially when he shoots at one of the guys from under the table. <laughs> But I think my favorite moment is when the sensitive cop is able to kill again. Oh. <laughs> it's really moving. Hmm. It is. Okay, you can go now. Huh? You've officially cheered me up. I'm cheered up. You're, I'm cool. You can go. You're asking me to leave? Well, I haven't completely lost touch with reality. I know that you have better things to do than sit here with an old married woman telling her about old Bruce Willis movies. Katie, believe me. I don't have anything better to do. the next as the world turns. Montana? They went to Montana together? This trip is working its magic already, just like I knew it would. They only went there for one reason. Find their way back to a time and place when they thought that they would live happily ever after. Well, now that we've been given this gift, what are we going to do with it?